Hey guys, so I got my first order. So I'm just gonna hit accept. And we're gonna go pick up our order. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Monique. This is my channel, Uniquely Mo. And if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Now, today we are going to be following me on a little road trip. We're going to be door dashing. So, let's go. So, we are in the car now. And sorry for the lighting, but this is raw footage. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started up. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Okay, so now that I'm getting started, I'm just going to hit that I'm ready. It's asking me if my phone is charged, do I have enough gas? Do I have my red card and do I have my hot bag? And so then I hit start. And now I am ready to accept yeah, orders. So I got my first order. So I'm just gonna hit accept. And we're gonna go pick up our order. So I've arrived at McDonald's. So I wanted to get home and get comfortable before I sat down and talked to you guys. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my little notebook because I did take some notes to make sure that I tell you guys everything. So um, I'll tell you a little history of how I got into door dashing. Um, I had to have surgery, so I was taken off work for like six weeks. Um, of course, I still have life. So I needed to get some income. So after about three weeks, I called my doctor, told him I was feeling better, asked could I go back to work, and he said he could not send me back to work, just rest. It's good that I was feeling better, but he could not send me back to work. So DoorDash came up, and it was something simple, just driving around, getting out, picking up food, and taking it to the customer and dropping it off. So I felt like I could do that without you know, putting too much strain on my body. So um, that's how I got started. Um, I signed up and I got my kit in, I would say five to seven days it came. And it comes with a little debit card because certain um, restaurants don't have the system set up. So you'll have to actually go in, place the order and swipe the card to purchase the food. So, um, with places like that you have to have your card um for me i purchase things on my own because i want to be successful at anything i do and the only thing that they're gonna send you is this red bag that's it the shirt that you guys saw in the video is one that i purchased myself i got it off of etsy and i'll post the link down below if you want to purchase that and um all of that so with door dashing you're your own boss you're an independent contractor so everything that you do is gonna be towards the success of your business that's how you have to look at it like DoorDash is your business so take it seriously and treat it like it's your baby so um, first and foremost I want it to look professional the first week or so when I got out there doing DoorDash and they just sent me the bag, I just wore a red shirt because I felt like, okay, I'll just color coordinate with the bag. When I got out there, there are a lot of people in my city that DoorDashes, and we were all just standing around waiting for orders at different restaurants. And I just kind of peeped my competitors or coworkers, whatever you want to call them. And I was like, we don't look professional so that's when I got online and I found a shirt and I was like okay I'm gonna make myself look like I work for the company so I got the shirt and that was one thing that I would recommend get the t-shirt it was about eight to ten dollars I'm not really sure but like I said I'll post a link below um, be on time 
be on time for your deliveries, be on time for your pickups. It's going to show you in the app um, what time it needs to be picked up and what time it needs to be delivered by. Now, it does give you a five-minute window on delivering. That is the most important thing is getting it delivered on time. One thing that I know will help with um, delivering on time is not picking up too many orders when you first start. When you first start, DoorDash will send you a second order. If you're at, um, let's just say McDonald's, a second order will pop up and say, hey, this order is going to be on your route. Can you pick this one up also? And it'll give you extra money to pick up that order, maybe three to six dollars to take that extra order. It sounds simple, but when you first start, get used to navigating the app and all of that and then start picking up extra orders. So um, that won't hurt you from being on time because that's what messed up my um, metrics, but we'll get into that later. The way to get your orders is to stay near the hotspots. And the app is gonna tell you what the hotspots is. You'll see it at the bottom of your screen. It'll say, orders are coming in near McDonald's. I get more orders than McDonald's orders, but that's what's in my head, so I'm just using it. Um, but it's gonna tell you get near McDonald's on whatever street. You're gonna go near that McDonald's because you need to be within a mile of the restaurant or the person who's placing the order so that you can get there quickly and get the customer their order. So um, make sure that after you drop an order off or when you're starting, you wanna get near the hotspot so that you can continue to get orders. Um, gas me personally i drive journey it's a suv but it does not burn a lot of gas at all i'll gas up i usually just work weekends that's my go-to time it's busy and i want to stay busy so i'll gas up on friday and fill it up just say i'm on a full tank after all my deliveries i'm usually a friday saturday sunday ish person i may do friday saturday i may do saturday sunday i'm still over a half a tank because it's not burnt my, my vehicle doesn't burn a lot of gas i don't know how that would work for you um like i said i put in 30 dollars on whatever day i start and i'm still over a half a tank when i'm done for the weekend the two days that i do it so for me, it's not a lot of gas at all. Um, as far as ratings go or metrics or whatever you want to call them, they will um, show you what your ratings are. And I'll put mine, um, you'll see them come up. And when I first started, it's based off of 100 deliveries. That's what you need to know because when I went, when I first started, I was five, five, like everything was awesome. And then all of a sudden my ratings started dropping lower, but they're basing them off of a hundred orders. So they're going to be high in the beginning because it's one order. So you're going to, if you're, if you delivered it well, your customer is going to give you good ratings. So it's going to stay high, high. But once you get into the 50 orders, 60 orders, it's going to start dropping down because it's still basing it off of a hundred orders. So when my ratings started dropping lower, I felt like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Like I said, I don't care what job I'm doing. I want to do it well. So I got on Etsy. And I googled what can I do to get my DoorDash ratings up because if your ratings drop too low they will remove you as a dasher so um, I got on Etsy and I'll post how I got these and this is something that you can make yourself also but um, I wasn't trying to get into that so I just ordered them these are if you can read them just some little stickers that I bought and I, I place them on my orders before I take them into my customer. So when I pick them up, I take a little sticker and I stick it on the bag um, that the food is in so that my customers can see it. And it's just telling them that um, it says a note from your driver. Five star reviews help us so much. Enjoy your meal and have a great day. 
It's just a way to tell them because some people don't rate. Some people just hit a, a one star or three star because they don't know the importance of it. So I know that I do my part by being on time and being professional. So this is just to let them know, okay, I feel like I did the right thing. Can you please give me five stars? So that's just something that I did. I think I paid about $3.00. Six dollars, something like that, for these stickers, and I did get a couple of pages of them. Um, I'm still not done using them as of yet, and I'll post a link down below to that as well. Um, I will post um, a screenshot of the app and my earnings to show you that I usually work just two days. You may see on there where I worked one extra day and it's like 15 16 dollars. That was me trying to add another day and then saying no my goal is two hundred dollars every um weekend the two days that i work i'm gonna stick to that because it's not too much on my body so i canceled out. i think i may have done that twice but you'll still see that with the calculations i did um make two hundred dollars in two days working with doordash Now, my personal experience with DoorDash, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I am back at work now working my regular job, but I'll still jump on um, when it's boring um, or I'm not, I don't have a weekend planned. I'll jump on and do a couple of orders. You know, it's just extra money. You know, maybe I can shop or save or whatever I decide to do with it. Um, I still do it. So I like it. It's not hard work at all. If it's something that you want to do full time, I definitely feel like if you get out there and do the job, you'll make the money. You can't, you know, play around. You have to get to your locations, drop off, pick up and get back to the hot spot and you'll do good. You'll make the money. The money is in it. So that's my personal experience um, with DoorDash. If you have um, been wondering or wanting to do DoorDash, you know, you could take some of my tips on how to be better. I um, highly recommend it if you're needing extra money. It is the holiday season. Um, you can order it and you'll have your bag and your card in about five days and you can start. Um, if this video taught you guys anything, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with any questions that you have, any comments. I do respond to them. Um, that's it for now. You guys stay tuned. I do have more videos planned. Thank you for watching, and you guys have a great day.